Hey, what's up? Professor Tom here, guys. We're going to have a look at one of my favourite little combinations I play with on the mat nearly every day, gi and no gi, and it will certainly be something that can work for you too. You're going to get submissions, you're going to get sweeps. All right, let's have a look. All right, guys, I'm Tom. I'm here with Guy. We're going to have a look today at one of my favourite uh, little combinations I use on the mat, gi, no gi, white belts, black belts. It's just a fun little thing you can do too. So, guys in my butterfly guard, guys, butterfly guard is a great guard. If you're not using it already, please do. Why? It protects your feet, it lets you attack their feet, it lets you attack submissions, and it lets you attack sweeps. It's very versatile, okay? So, ultimately, whenever I have butterfly, I want attachment. Now, this might start as simple as a two-on-one grip, okay? But ultimately, what I would love is to get an overhook. Anytime I can get an overhook, it's tremendous. Now, in no gi, I can aggressively pummel to get this position, but sometimes in the gi, he can, for instance, like hold, uh, you can use this hand and hold me up. So I'm trying to like get an overhook and it's hard, but then I can always grab a belt, okay? So we can use the pros and the cons of the gi, okay? When I grab the belt, I'll grab the side of the belt, not the back of the belt, all right? It makes a big difference, okay? So, if he grabs me, I can grab his belt here. No problem at all. And then we go for the same sweep. However, for today, we'll go off using a overhook. So one of the ways that I like to do this is if he ever grabs my gi, I hold the knuckles, pummel, and then come through for my overhook, okay? A lot of the time, guys, I will like to get that far collar if I'm in the gi, okay? So now it's quite simple. I fall to the side, I hold his wrist, and I go to elevate him over with my hook sweep, okay? If this works, fantastic. I can take mount or I can take a knee ride position here and immediately start attacking. So we'll just look at that once or twice more because ultimately I want the combination, not this move. I don't expect to get this move at the time. So if he grips, I'm gonna pop the grip. I come in and I'm gonna get the far collar, four fingers in. I kick my right leg through, I hold on to his wrist, and I elevate him up in the air, making sure I try to get my hips high. From here, I can knee slice pass, or I can get to mount. So there's your basic butterfly sweep. Overhook. But uh, guys, this thing gets swept too easily after you've done it a few times. So any time that I've got my overhook here, I can go to sweep him. Sometimes he'll get his hand to the mat. As soon as he gets his hand to the mat, I wait his collar, and I lift my right elbow over, okay? What I don't want is a shallow guillotine. I want a deep guillotine. So I put my elbow over, and I wrap as deep around as I can. I'd like to see my thumb this way. So now that my thumb is through, I can go arm in, put his head on the mat, and now I can go for my submission. However, I'll just ease up on the choke, so guy doesn't let it go out. <laughs> If I'm going to get a guillotine choke from Butterfly, I'm gonna to need to do something weird with my right foot, okay? So if you zoom around the back, once I've swept him, I grab the chin, and I'm putting a hammock underneath my fist here, up tight, watch my right leg. It has to come in here to control, okay? Once it's in here to control, now I can hold him and finish. Okay, so the combination of that right leg and the left leg is my finishing position with his head on the mat. We'll look at that one more time. As I'm here, I move around, I go for my sweep. He defends, but if his hand's on the mat, he can't be back at the castle defending. So I wrap the chin and I make sure my radius bone is tight into the neck. I now put a hammock under my hand. Okay, I kick my right leg through to trap his foot and now my left leg can come out and come on top okay so that's our basic basic arm um, and guillotine choke from butterfly however sometimes it doesn't always work that swimmingly so i go to sweep and i get my guillotine i lock it up but my left leg is stuck okay sometimes he'll even post on my right leg here to stop me from kicking through so now i put his head on the mat and i tip him over and I try to get through a mount. Once I'm in a mount here, I can do it with two hands. I prefer to use one hand. I suck my belly in, I get my wrist high, and now my head follows like a half pipe shape. So down and up. 
That was just a finishing tip that I recently uh, refined thanks to uh, my uh, USA buddy and brother Wayne Knudsen, recent brown belt, double gold champ, black belt, new guy uh, on the circuit. And uh, he had a great little finishing tip. And that's it, like a half pipe when you go to finish that mounted guillotine, just like you're on a skateboarding half pipe. So let's look at this one again, because this is a combination I use all the time. I'm here and I get my overhook, okay? Ultimately, there's a lot of chokes from here, but if I just go to sweep him, I can get that guillotine. Once I've got that guillotine in, I can sweep him over and I get to my mount position. If he was to put me in quarter guard or whatever, I don't mind. Now, okay, that's fine. I suck my belly in, I get my hand high, and now watch my head like I'm going up on a half pipe. Okay? This will get the job done, no problems at all. So, there's a little basic combination. You can play with this as much as you like, but if you can combine an overhook with your butterfly sweep, with a guillotine, ultimately it's a very disastrous combination where he really can't put his hands in a correct spot. He can just choose a spot for his hands and we will choose a spot for ours, either sweeping him over or of course choking his neck. And if he does get swept over and defends the choke, we'll take him out and choke him from there. So I hope it's as fun for you as it is for me. It's something a lot of my students do, but it's certainly a great combination that you can play with as well. Thanks very much guys, see you next time.